Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in men worldwide. Our good friend and colleague, Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall from Pfizer knows that all too well. Her husband, Randy, recently faced his own prostate cancer diagnosis. This is his story. Having had a history of cancer, I'm always seeing a doctor. I'm married to a doctor, she always makes me go to doctors, and I've been having PSAs for a long time. This blood test tells whether or not there's anything wrong with my prostate. Last year, my primary care physician was very concerned when my PSA score came back abnormally high and she wanted me to go see a urologist. I go to the urologist, he does some other tests, and after all these tests are done, we sat down, and between him and I and my wife, we decided that an MRI was appropriate, that we needed to see what was going on in the prostate. The MRI showed that there were spots on my prostate. Immediately, I had a biopsy. Last May, the biopsy showed that I had prostate cancer, and actually a fairly aggressive form. So I needed to move quickly. Dr. Frida and Randy are both here today. So good to meet you in person. But most importantly, I want to know how you're feeling today. How is your health? I'm blessed. I had robotic surgery. I feel like I'm on the road to recovery, feeling better each day. And most importantly, no signs of cancer. That's great to hear. And Randy, you mentioned this is not the first time you were diagnosed with cancer. Tell us about that. Well, in 1976, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Pretty young, in graduate school. My wife was in medical school. We were planning to get married. And as things work out, it was pretty difficult. But we got through it. And this recent prostate cancer diagnosis was hard, too. But I'm so happy to be here and help make others aware of this terrible disease. Let's get to it and talk about this diagnosis. The prostate is a small gland that's located under a man's bladder. Early in life, it's about the size of a walnut, but it does grow over time. Prostate cancer is usually confined to the prostate gland. So Dr. Frieda, what is the likelihood that a man will develop prostate mm -hmm. cancer? Well, the American Cancer Society estimates that there will be nearly 175,000 new cases of prostate cancer and over 30,000 deaths due to prostate cancer in the U.S. this year alone. But early detection um, and diagnosis gives a man a better chance for a successful treatment. And unfortunately, the early stages of prostate cancer may not have any symptoms at all, but when it's more advanced, signs and symptoms may include problems with urinating, flow, frequency, pain, and burning sensations, blood in the urine or semen, erectile dysfunction, and or pain in the bones, lower back, hips, or upper thighs. And some of these symptoms can be caused by infection or an enlarged prostate due to aging. So always speak to your doctor as soon as possible to determine the cause. And Dr. Frieda, let's talk right now about who is at risk for prostate cancer. The risk increases as men get older and the average age of diagnosis is around 66. Race also matters. African American men and Caribbean men of African descent have a disproportionately greater risk of prostate cancer. Compared to men of other racial groups, African American men with prostate cancer, that cancer is usually diagnosed at a later stage. It's more aggressive and more deadly. And Native American men are also more likely to die from prostate cancer than white men. And given that Randy is a Nanakote Native American and African American, we knew that we had to be extra vigilant. And also having a father or brother with prostate cancer, that more than doubles a man's risk of developing it. So be proactive, have regular physical exams, talk to your doctor about when screening may be right for you. Most medical organizations encourage men in their 50s to discuss screening with their doctors, but earlier if they are considered high risk, doctors may do a PSA blood test like Randy had or a digital rectal exam, which only takes a minute. Treatment is going to vary, and it's going to vary depending on the stage of cancer. It'll depend on your own health history and any other medical conditions that you have. But I want to mention, importantly, 
that um, many men experience anxiety and depression following a diagnosis of prostate cancer. So it is really important to reach out and talk to someone that can help you through this. And Randy, what advice do you have for others? Well, since I had this cancer, I have met so many friends and even family members who have also gone through this and never shared it. And I get it. Stigma, sensitivity, fear. It makes it real difficult, especially for men, to talk about these kinds of health issues. But if you don't speak up and you don't seek the help that you need, you may be doing a disservice to your loved ones and yourself. Certainly, uh, finding and treating prostate cancer early is so important. Um, wishing you all the best. And Dr. Frida, where can people get more information? Well, you can always go to gethealthystayhealthy.com for more information. And while you're there, you can sign up for our monthly newsletter. Well, it's a pleasure having you both here together. And uh, Randy, don't be a stranger. We'd love to see you back here from time to time. Not with another disease. <laughs> well, that, fair, fair enough.